I mean, obviously, this is really one of the most challenged romances on television. Uh, you know, we've seen uh, obstacles that couples have to overcome in the past on television, but not being able to touch each other is a pretty big one. Well, Pete Ocko, who is essentially my creative partner and writing partner on the show, and we often talk about like what are the realities of this pretty fantastical situation. And it's, it's really about keeping things as real as possible. If you couldn't touch somebody, what would you do? You would build the little divider in the car that you know, we call something else because of the glove. <laughs> and, uh, the, there are uh, children in the audience. I know, that's why I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, dancing in the beekeeper suits, making out in body bags, and, and saran wrap, and like what, like, if you couldn't touch the person you're in love with, what would you realistically do? So it's about kind of coming at it from as real a place as possible, since we have that huge buy, the huge science fiction buy, that uh, the emotion has to be real, and the motivations for those characters to want to get together have to be real. And I mean, just with this cast, too, it's so real that it lets us tell stories that go anywhere. I mean, I think you always believe these as if it doesn't matter that he can touch people and bring, bring them back. It's he's a person. And, you know, just what Brian's saying, it, when we ground that and make it seem like this is just our universe, you have to be here, you, we can go anywhere then. And that's, I mean, that's just fantastic. And I, I you know, I attribute that to the pilot and the cast because it just, it just lands. It's great. Possibly perverse question. Yes, please. Could they have children? I think her egg would die when the sperm hit it. <laughs> Any other questions? Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs>